Hello and welcome to Gaby Snick Goodies. I am Gaby. You can find me on Instagram and my yarn on Etsy at Gaby Snick Goodies. And my yarn is also on Instagram at GKG Yarn. And I am here to talk about knitting today. I've made some progress on my whip and um, a little bit of progress on some other whips and I have a finished object to show you guys. Um, as well as a little cross stitch project I've been doing. So, without further ado, let's get into it. What I am wearing, really just wearing um, a button up shirt, but it was a little cool, so I threw on this little blanket actually. It's the Habitation Throw by Helen Stewart, Curious Handmaids. And, um,. You can make it as big as you want. That's one thing that's really nice about this blanket is you can use whatever you have and knit it as big as you want because it starts in one corner and then it increases with this lovely little eyelet border on it. Not eyelet border. Lovely little eye cord border and um, it has eyelets throughout it but it's very simple. It's garter with some eyelet rounds. Um, I end up adding some mohair and various mini skeins and um, scraps that I had left over. But it's beautiful and it works well as um, like a little blanket shawl to throw on when I have, um, when I'm a little bit chilly at home. I usually keep it on my office chair. It's a happy blanket. <laughs> I usually fold it in half to make a triangle and wear it like a little shawl. All right, let's start with my finished object. I don't know if I've ever shown the start of this project on here or not. I cannot remember. If I have, it's been a while. But I have a pair of socks. Isn't it pretty? So these are simple vanilla socks that I knit a two by two ribbing at the top. And then I knit for a few inches and then knit a heel flap and gusset. And yeah, regular toe decrease. And then I get to where I have 20 stitches at the bottom, 10 on the top, 10 on the bottom, and I Kitchener the heel. I usually start with, I think around 60, six, between 60 and 62, I think it's probably 60 stitches, something like that. And I typically use my Chalgru nine inch circulars that are like a US two. Yes, I think that's right. Um, so I love this yarn and it is called Flowers and Dirt. Let's see. This is what it looks like in the skein. And I do have three of these currently available in the shop, at least as of the time I posted this video. It has dark water splotches and brown muddy splotches and then the pinky purples um, for flowers. So I came up with this in like a wet spring um, season for this colorway and I don't know, it just, you can't have flowers without wet dirt. <laughs> it just seemed to go hand in hand but I love it. And now I actually have two pairs, or two socks, one whole pair. So I had, I had these like 95% done for a very long time, but this one I had just set aside because I didn't want to Kitchener my heel, my toe, not my heel. I didn't want to Kitchener the toe. It was just sitting there. All I had left to do was the Kitchener. But the benefit is now I have an entire pair of socks ready to go. Just in time for cool weather to arrive, which has been lovely. 
lovely this week, like lows in the low 50s, maybe high 40s Fahrenheit, and then like 75 degrees during the day, with a nice light breeze, low humidity. It's my favorite time of year. Alrighty. Not gonna talk about the Ingrid sweater much. Done a couple more sections. The sl sleeve is very, very, very slowly growing. Um, I have started the like decreases on the sleeve, so it'll start growing even faster. Right? <laughs> and then similarly, second sleeve for sweater number 20. I have done, I think I put this little marker that my daughter made here um, from last time. So I've done that much. But it's getting closer to the other sleeve. Yeah, in terms of the actual cable knitting, I don't have a huge amount left. And this is being knit out of White Swan, Merino, and Cloud, Kid Mohair, and Silk. And then this one is Ingrid Summer Sweater by Gregoria Fibers out of 100% Pima Cotton DK Weight in Confetti Sky. Okay, so the one I'm most excited about is the one I've been working on the majority of the time, and that is the Grow Shawl by Fiber Tails. Again, this is a triangular shawl. It's a right triangular shawl. You start with this long edge and you knit these gorgeous flowers or foliage of some type here. And you have rows of stockinette stitch between the garter sections. But as you decrease along one side, when you come to one of those garter sections, or not garter, stockinette columns, you unpick it all the way down, and then use a crochet hook to do this lovely little braid. She does have a tutorial um, on the Fiber Tales YouTube channel about how to do this little braid here. And if I get to it, either today or um, for next week, I'll film myself doing this. I think, I don't know if I'll have time today or not, but I just have a few more stitches before I get to my next column. So it's an interesting, interesting um, thing to do, and it makes a huge difference. I think in the overall shawl look, and I really like it. It adds so much interest, and um, it's very like, dimensional. It's very squishy and puffy. It's hard to show this here. Um, I don't know if you, how well you can see that. You can see the bobbles there, but then the braid is puffy, which I think adds a lot. So I'm excited about that, and if, if you saw last week's video, I was only right, like right here, I think. And so I have knit a good amount. And the rows are getting shorter, which makes it even faster, which is exciting. And the yarn is very squishy, like the, the shawl is a very squishy shawl, and uh, I think it will be very cozy in an office. Currently, it goes from here all the way to like the tips of my fingers on that cast on edge. 
and the diagonal should be even longer than that. So I think it'll be a good size shawl, which is what I wanted. So I'm very excited about that. Grow Shawl by Fiber Tales. It is a paid for pattern available on Ravelry. Possibly she has her own thing, website, I don't know. But I'm really, really loving it because it's, it's very mindless. I have markers to indicate each little repeat. Um, on the front side, it's just knitting, but then on the back side, every time I get to a marker, I do two purl bobs to keep those columns stock and stitch. Um, so it's very mindless and it's quick because I'm knitting it on large needles. I'm knitting it on size 10 instead of the size 8 that the pattern calls for. And I, I'm happy I'm doing that. It's very squishy and lofty and drapey and it's going to be pretty plenty big. I am on my third ball of yarn and it is the Polar Bear Erin Weight 100% Merino. Very, very squishy and um, very like lofty fiber here. So I think it works well for this project. And I did just add some of this to the shop because it hasn't been in the shop, which was my fault. I thought it was up, but it wasn't. So I fixed that today. So if you're interested, you can get some too. Yeah, I don't know what else to say about it yet, but I will at some point in time show you a little video of me doing that fancy little braid, which is very easy to do. And so before I go, I wanted to show you guys what I have been working on um, for my fiber arts class. It's a sewing and handicrafts class. And I've been prepping for today. It's a middle school class, so I'm hoping they can do what I've prepped for them. But this is a little cross stitch that I came up with that I knit. I think it turned out really cute. For them, I have a number of other options like a little frog and um, baby Yoda, Grogu, and what else? Oh, I did one that's like a little bookshelf with a couple little books and a little like drapey like spider plant type thing. Um, but they're all pretty small. So I'm hoping, I'm hoping they'll be able to do it over the next like two or three classes. Classes are 55 minutes long, but you know, there's a little bit of time getting settled and there'll be some time getting started today. So we'll see, we'll see how far they get. And it is, it's relatively small in terms of the little squares of my cross stitch fabric, but they're young and have good eyes. It's really good for dexterity, I feel like. Hopefully they'll be able to do it without too much problem. Now I did for them, I took washable markers and in the correct color, I actually marked like each square and what color it's supposed to be, like directly onto the fabric, which was extremely tedious. Um, and I almost decided not to do it after I did one and it took me so long. But I did it anyways. I just like had a show going in the background and just did little dots. This one wasn't bad. Some of the other ones were more complicated or bigger or something. I don't know. It took longer to do some of the other ones. But I think they'll like it. Hopefully. I enjoyed making this. I hadn't done cross stitch since I was a kid. I don't think so. That was fun. Um, yeah, I don't think I have any other projects to talk about today other than 
I still haven't cast on my Felix card again, but that's still in the plan, as well as my daughter's little um, like dance cropped sweater. Have both of that those yarns dyed, but just haven't wound them up, and um, yeah, taken care of them and prepped them, as well as. The dance top, I'm still not 100% sure about the pattern. She wants it kind of holy, but she doesn't want it too baggy. She wants the sleeves kind of slim. So I'm going to have to play around with that a little bit. If you have any like cropped dance tops that are meshy or just, it doesn't even have to be dance, it just has to be, I don't know, work as like thinner sleeves but mesh. I can always crop a sweater, especially if it's top down. I could do a bottom up too, I suppose. Uh, but it'd be easier to fit her if it was top down. I might just make something up. Or I might modify sweater number 21 pattern. I did sweater number 21 a little while ago, <clears throat> a year and a half ago maybe. Um, and it's very meshy, but it's like big and has like three strands held together. So if I am reducing how many strands I'm holding together and reducing my needle size, I might be able to kind of work that pattern into what I need it to be. I don't know. Let me know if you have ideas. So I think this was a quick one. I always say that and then I watch it back in editing. I'm like, it was still like 25 minutes, which always surprises me. I guess I chat too much. Anyways. Here's my yarn if anybody's interested. I actually found out that some of this was not um, active. I thought it was, and I just, it wasn't for some reason. So um, Funfetti is now up, as well as my sparkly Glitter Balm 50s here. Um, these are the only two 50 grams I have left. I had dyed some a little bit ago. Um, and then sold some, I think, more in person than anything else. So I do have those two left, and they are sparkly, which is fun. Um, my Pastel Peach Boucle, that is currently up now. Super squishy, 100% merino. As well as this one that I knit my daughter's Traveler hoodie out of. Also a lovely boucle. This is called Bean's Boucle. So, anyways, if you're interested in any of that, go check it out on Etsy. And other than that, just have a good time crafting. I hope that this fall is a good season for you to um, just enjoy creating. So, that's, that's my goal. <laughs> enjoy creating without stress. Sometimes when I teach, it's hard to balance that. But sometimes you love what you do but it can cause stress. And so you have to kind of take a step back and a breathe, breather and not put so much pressure on yourself. Yeah. Anyways, bye.